Rogue Hearts here with you today, reviewing the latest title from developer Reckoner Industries and published by the Iterative Collective. Set in a dystopian post-apocalyptic world, Signal State is a logic-based puzzle simulation game that has the player taking on the role of a resident handyman, helping to repair and restore long-abandoned technology and machinery on a recently discovered farm. The goal being to restore the equipment and put the farm back in working order so members of your collective can continue to try and build back what has been lost. You're introduced to several different people along your puzzle solving journey, most notably Miriam, who serves as your introductory guide to the game and game world, and provides you with your initial repair tasks. She also acts as a hint giver during the puzzles themselves, and trust me, if you struggled at times with this game like I did, and I did, they will prove very helpful. The game is mostly thin on story overall though, which I don't hold against it. It's used mostly as a narrative to set up the puzzles themselves, which are the real stars of the show. Or are they? As a fan of logic-based games, and someone who is always looking for ways to exercise his aging brain muscle, I was curious to dive into this title. It is unlike any game I've yet played in my lengthy gaming history, and certainly offers a unique experience. To begin each puzzle, the player will be provided with a task, be it an introductory diagnostics test, restoring the lights to functioning fashion in the farmhouse, or repairing a circuit breaker. The gameplay is extremely simple and intuitive, requiring the player only to click and drag the various modules, patch cables, and tools available to them in an attempt to get the long broken technology back in working order. I found this title to be effortless to dive into, and it does a great job of immersing the player and making what seems like a tedious task feel satisfying. The interface is extremely well organized and clean, and not where my complaints lie with this game. Once a puzzle is solved, you are scored on your efficiency and can even go online and compare how you did to other players. I also think it's cool that the developers offer Discord and Twitter integration that allows puzzled gamers to reach out for assistance when their wires get crossed. Presentation-wise, this game is practically pristine and provides the player with all the tools required to make the experience as aesthetically pleasing as possible. This is easier said than done too when you consider how much moving and crisscrossing the cables and modules require. The ability to color code the cables and freely move items on and off the grid are a brilliant touch and I commend the designers for offering great overall customization. The graphics are a bit drab, but I guess that's to be expected from a broken world of rusted machinery that's gone to pot, but the painted character avatars and backgrounds are well done, and in keeping with the overall cleanliness of the game's aesthetic. Musically, the title screen song is the highlight here. That song chilled me out. Like, really, really chilled me out. Vibes. Outside of that, the tracks are a bit repetitive, but muted and unoffensive. Lots of moody bass lines and synth beeps to entertain you whilst you bang your head against your keyboard. Sound effects are effective and satisfying. They can also be a bit alarming and jarring at times if you get a puzzle wrong, so expect to hear lots of angry robot noises when this happens to you. Now let's get to the bad. This game is most definitely not for everyone. I don't think it advertises itself as such either, so I don't want to be too harsh here, but outside of a pretty niche group of gamers and intellectuals, there isn't too much fun to be had here, personally speaking. I didn't really feel like the satisfaction of solving some of the later puzzles outweighed the frustration of trying to solve them. It was maddening at times. And maybe that's the point, but for me it just didn't feel that fun. I think perhaps if I was playing in a group setting and getting input from those around me it may have been a bit more enjoyable, but on the whole I felt defeated more than gratified. Of course, that's just me, and I know there are people who will revel in these challenges and take immense pride in the puzzle solving. I commend the developers greatly for what they've accomplished and put together here. It's certainly admirable, and even a bit enviable. I recommend those on the fence to certainly give the demo a try. There is definitely something for someone here. For me, however, it just wasn't that much fun. I ended up feeling like the state of my signal was one thing and one thing only. Stupid. I'd like to take a moment now to thank all of our wonderful indie warriors who helped to make this channel so very special. Mitchell Hall, Bunny, Kevalo, Bill Tikaz, Christian Cruz, Strict9, Chris Jackson, Nathan Moore, Peach, Adriana Amato, CJR. SC, C Coil, Skeptism, Jen Rose, Jesse, CPM, Julian Kalbus, JRS8. Thank you all kindly for watching. Please feel free to check out the description box below for ways that you can support iDream of Indie, and we will see you all next time.